now we are going to discuss about nucleus of the atomic structure so we have introduction about the nucleus first of all the introduction about the nucleus was already given in the chapter atoms there are many different atomic structures jj thomson's model rutherford's alpha scattering model bohr's model of hydrogen atom every theorem or every postulates described by the different scientists are valid up to some extent and as well as they have some limitations so what we can understand about the basics of the nucleus with those theorems first of all nucleus is positively charged this was proved by alpha scattering experiment by rutherford so what we can understand alpha scattering experiment proved that there is a positively charged particles inside the nucleus that's why most of the alpha rays are repelled back next one electrons which are placed outside the nucleus but these electrons are revolving around the nucleus in their own orbits revolves around the nucleus in orbits this was proven by bohr this is the bohr's atomic model and these two informations are not at all enough to understand the construction of the nucleus so if you want to understand the construction it will be like this actually nucleus is invisible but to understand the concept we are drawing the nucleus in a visible size so this is the nucleus which contains protons and these are the orbits which contains electrons it depends upon the atomic number elements atomic number so what we can understand proton inside the nucleus electrons are revolving around the nucleus but there is a force of attraction or coulomb's inverse square law is valid between the protons and electrons there is a force of attraction but the radiations which are coming out of the excitation or de-excitation of the atom gives the neutral radiation also that's why mr chadwick james chadwick introduced the concept of neutron and that neutron will lie inside the nucleus this is the point which is added to the introduction of the nucleus so we can say protons and neutrons are the elements or charged particles present inside the nucleus that's why these are called nucleons nucleons is nothing but number of protons plus number of neutrons where p is equal to proton where n is equal to neutron proton charge is positive in magnitude neutron charge is neutral along with that electrons are also present around the nucleus and one more thing we should know about the nucleus is nucleus of an atom is 10 cube to 10 to the power 4 times lesser than the size of atom size of so if atom's size is 10 power uh, let us suppose some minus 15 meters the nucleus is 10 power 3 to 10 to the power of 4 times less than less than means 10 power minus 15 10 minus 3 10 to the power of minus 18 meters will be the nucleus size 
in forward when we are going to explain the detailed analysis of the each and every point of the nucleus we are going to find out the size of nucleus also see in size comparison nucleus is this much small but 99 percentage or 99.9 percentage are more than this the entire mass of the atom in that 99.9 percentage of the mass will concentrate inside the nucleus mass half mass that means if atoms mass is some x units in it 99.9 percentage of x will concentrate inside the nucleus nucleus seems to be very small but 99 percent or 99.9 percentage of its mass is concentrated in that small point this is very very important to understand rutherford assumed that most of the mass of an atom and the charge of atom are concentrated at one common point that point is called nucleus and this point is similar to the center of mass of the moving systems also so this is the basic introduction about the nucleus next we are going to see what is the atomic number what is the atomic mass number what is atomic mass unit and the remaining basics of the nucleus now the concept of atomic number its symbol is z so what is the definition of atomic number if you understood the construction of uh, any atomic structure inside the nucleus proton and neutron around it electrons the number of electrons which are outside of the nucleus is called atomic number or number of protons inside the nucleus is also called atomic number so the definition is like this the number of electrons which are outside the nucleus are revolving around the nucleus which are outside the nucleus is called atomic number and how we can define the atomic number in one more way the number of protons which are inside the nucleus is called atomic number atomic number of what atomic number of given element that means atomic number is defined in two ways one is outside electrons which are outside the nucleus and the other one is the protons which are inside the nucleus that means these two statements are giving the same answer means number of protons inside the nucleus and number of electrons outside the nucleus will be same in number should be same in number then only the total charge of an atom will be neutral but what is the why the discover the concept of neutron james chadwick did one experiment he found some extra mass is there within the isotopes of the given element because of that he introduced the concept that there is a, an extra more matter is there which is neutral in charge that's why it is called neutron so this is the definition so suppose let me give an example hydrogen means suppose hydrogen its atomic number is 1 that means inside the nucleus it has one proton outside the nucleus it has one electron but its mass number is 1 hydrogen's mass is 1 that means there is no neutron in the hydrogen like that we can explain the each and every element this is the basic concept about the atomic number z suppose if you want to find out the charge of the given number of electrons or number of protons there is a formula quantized formula ze 
where z gives the atomic number number of electrons or number of protons e is the charge of each charged particle in case of electrons it is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs in case of positives it is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs plus and minus gives the magnitude of the charge next our concept is atomic mass number what is mass number if you want to find out the mass number we should discuss about the discovery of neutron Mr. James Chadwick he is the scientist who had discovered the neutron he concluded that in some elements its mass has a different in the ratio like he found some isotopes of the given elements but the masses of those elements are uh, maintaining some proportions in the ratio let us suppose hydrogen's isotope 1h1 1 h2 or 1 h3 hydrogen deuterium tritium these masses are in the ratio 1 is 2 2 is 2 3 atomic number is same but mass number is different then he concluded that inside the nucleus along with the proton some extra matter is there which is neutral in charge because of that extra matter there is a variation in the mass number and he named that one as a neutron which refers to neutrally charged matter so inside the nucleus we can say protons plus neutrons are there the number of protons plus neutrons is collectively called atomic mass number. The symbol of this one is A. So, number of protons plus number of neutrons. Collectively called as mass number. Symbol is A. This is also called atomic mass number. See, atomic number is Z. Mass number is Z plus N. Is it right? So, our Z means number of protons. Here also Z means number of protons. P is equal to atomic number. P plus N is equal to mass number so therefore number of neutrons is equal to atomic mass number minus atomic number number minus atomic number so p plus n minus p we will get n suppose take an example of hydrogen's isotope 1 h2 1 is z 2 is a this is the way to write any chemical element where z refers to atomic number a refers to mass number now if i want to find out the number of neutrons present in this deuterium we should do a minus z that is nothing but 2 minus 1 1 means in hydrogen number of neutrons is 0 because 1 minus 1 0 but in deuterium there is a possibility of 2 neutrons inside the nucleus tritium 3 minus 1 2 neutrons like this we can find out the number of neutrons so number of protons number and electrons number is same number of neutrons will vary with respect to the isotope nature of the elements or in radioactive elements, the number of neutrons will be more. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.